Postoina in a cave is situated near the town of Postoina in Slovenia. The, um, the cave was first uh, discovered by Luca Sek. He was a, a cave lighter and uh, he was one of the workers uh, in April 1818 that was um, uh, working to get the cave uh, ready for the visit of the Austrian uh, Emperor Franz I. Uh, while the workers they were decorating and, and beautifying and illuminating the cave, um, Sek actually um, crossed a makeshift bridge and, and then he climbed over some rocks and then he disappeared. Uh, Sex um, uh, colleagues, you know, they, uh, they feared the worst that has happened to him and they thought he would never uh, return. But after some time, uh, they slow, uh, saw his uh, uh, gleaming light uh, from his lamplight uh, slowly uh, visible. And then finally they heard him call out, here is a new world, uh, here is the paradise. Uh, and he... Uh, he, he told everyone that he has discovered a new uh, cave. Uh, one of the highlights of the poster in a cave is the train ride that you get to ride um, uh, from the entrance. Uh, it's about a three and a half kilometers long. Uh, and after that, you get down from the train and then uh, the remaining uh, uh, one kilometer, uh, one and a half kilometers, you basically walk inside the cave to explore it. Uh, since poster in a cave, it's a horizontal cave. Uh, it made it possible to set up the it's about the first documented railway uh, in an underground cave uh, the work started in um, march 1872 and uh, it was completed in three months uh, and on 16 june 1872 uh, the first railway started running um, here at the uh, post china caves after world war one uh, the post china caves uh, uh, became a territory of the Kingdom of Italy and uh, in 1923 the railway line was completely renovated and extended and after that the visitors were uh, moved around uh, the cave uh, using um, a gasoline powered uh, locomotive. Uh, uh, it, uh, it, the capacity was around 20 passengers to begin with. Another main attraction of the post in our caves uh, are the presence of uh, baby dragons uh, or ohms as they are called. Uh, these are uh, very small tiny creatures with pale and translucent skin. They live in this uh, cave environment which uh, which is dark uh, and has a constant temperature and with uh, for long periods of time with uh, no food at all. 